What's up, guys? It's your boys, Wolke, back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Sam and Kobe Reacts. I need my Sam and Kobe fix, and we're going to be watching two of their Sam and Kobe Reacts into one. The first one's going to be, do not try these cursed 3 a.m. challenges. Just when you think they have done it all, they come up with this. And the other one is, we trapped a demon in our mystery box. So, with that being said, grab a chair, get comfortable, grab your extra pair of pants, and let's get to see what Sam and Kobe do at 3 a.m. and with a demonic divot box. Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that wiper icon down at the bottom right. Hit that bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that I've posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for that love and support that you guys show on this channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. And keep doing what you guys are doing. We'll continue to keep growing together. Speaking of support, I know the Sam and Kobe don't need my help and subscribers. But you never know for those people that might not know who they are. Check out the link in the description on Sam and Kobe and Sam and Kobe Reacts. I've definitely been watching these guys for years now. I think it's been like six or seven years. Watch them on Vine, YouTube, TikTok galore, and I'll continue doing so. So make sure you guys check out the links and subscribe, comment, like, and share. And with that being said, the first one is do not try these cursed 3 a.m. challenges. Oh, boy. What's up, guys? It's Sam and Colby. Today, we are back with even more 3 a.m. challenges. I guess we want to be haunted. Today, we are starting... The only one 3 a.m. challenge I did was I did the Bloody Mary. I know. I'm probably stupid for doing it. Nothing happened. But again, I'm being haunted by two uh, Shadowman uh, figures. So who knows if that's why. I doubt that's why, but who knows? Starting with the Queen of Spades ritual. In this ritual, we're going to need some candles, a Queen of Spades playing card, and some lipstick. I've got a lot of that upstairs. We're going to be playing in the bathroom with the door shut. Oh, God, please no. We are in the bathroom, door shut. We got Queen of Spades right here. The face side must face the mirror. That's crazy if it stays like that the entire time. And then you light your candles. Dude! The witch is not going to come if you hit her. Here's your cat lipstick. Here's my cat lipstick. The first part of the ritual is we have to put the lipstick on. How do you know how to fucking do that? <laughs> Why did I get like dark lipstick? You're like a goth chick? More the queen's bitch. Then we're gonna take the lipstick and then draw on the mirror stairs into a door. Oh, I got this shit. Oh. Who comes up with this stuff? Lock. Uh, 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 uh. These actually look pretty damn good. I'm pretty proud. Check out this out real quick. That's not bad. <laughs> I just, I've never seen you with fucking lipstick like this. <laughs> We're gonna close our eyes, focus, and say out loud three times, Queen of Spades, come. We're gonna keep our eyes closed and visualize this queen coming out of the door and up the stairs. And then when you open your eyes, if you see a spirit, you have now been granted a wish. Start the chant on three, one, two, three. Queen of Spades, come. Queen of Spades, come. We have to do it right or she's not gonna come. I don't know how to do it right. Well, we just have to be in sync. The better you're in sync, the easier it is that she comes. I got this. You can do this. You, you can, can do, do it. it. It's not that hard to find. Make her come. It's not that hard to find. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? The door, the fucking door. <laughs> One, two, three. Queen of spades, come. Queen of spades, come. Queen of spades, come. Now I'm watching her come out of the door. My queen's there. My queen is at the top. Can we open our eyes now? I think we'd look on three. Three, two, one. Can't you? Why are you looking at me? Well, I looked over there first, and then I looked at you to see if you saw something either. Did you? I didn't see anything, which means we didn't make her come. Guys, it's hard! <laughs> So we try to get together and visualize one door. Sure. Queen of spades, come. Queen of spades, come. Queen of spades, come. She's coming out of your room door. Floor. As she... Floor. We gotta go slow. We gotta go slow, then you gotta go fast. Three, two, one. Yes! I don't know. I don't play this game. I haven't ever done this If before. you guys have played 
played this game often. Uh, let us know what's the best way to make the queen come. I can tell you I'm not putting lipstick on. Next, we have the Red Book Ritual. So we're going to turn off this the one. lights and draw any curtains. We want zero lighting in this bitch. All you're going to need is some candles, a lighter, and a red hardback covered book. We have turned off all the lights and we are sitting on the floor. Where are we? We're back in my fucking room again. Do you hate that we do this only in your room? I hear things and I'm going... So like and subscribe for the next part. First step, lighten the candles. Ooh, Look at these specific candle. candles, dude. I think that is a shopexplorer.com candle. Do you see that it's holding a crystal ball, guys? I don't like that this book is called Illuminata. This is literally a book about the Illuminati rules and regulations. Why do you have that? We're not gonna ask any questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam, so this is how you're gonna play it. Close your eyes and place your hand on the cover of the book. Now ask the following question. Red book, may I enter your game? Red book, may I enter your game? Keep your eyes closed, open the book, and flip to a random page. Now place your finger somewhere random on this page. Open your eyes and read the sentence. If your answer makes sense and it's positive, you may proceed. But if not, you must close the book and not proceed. The Bible doesn't say that Adam and Eve were together for a long time, but it does say that they were naked and unembarrassed. Hey, yo! Okay! Does this mean we need to get naked like Adam and Eve? I would say that's positive. I think I can enter the Red Books game. All right, so now your turn. Hand on the book. Say, Red Book, may I enter your game? Red Book, may I enter the game? But are they doing this at 3 a.m. though? See if you got it. It doesn't seem as though the future is going to be much like the past. <laughs> Whoa! That's really negative. I feel like our past has been fantastic. Do you want to try again? Can I try again? Wait one second, I got an idea. They'll never know. <laughs> You're a completely different person. <laughs> Red Book, may I enter your game? Open her up. To soar? soar? I can soar in this game. It doesn't really make to that much create. sense. I think you gotta get another disguise. Really? I'm not doing this anymore. It doesn't want me to play the fucking game. You're just not cool <laughs> enough. So, we've done like 45 rituals at this point oh, yeah. in my room. Red book, are we in danger? Please, dear God, give me something good. Yeah, this is my god dang room we're talking about. The closest word is dear God. <laughs> what? It says, dear God, when I talked to Michael today, I was very harsh with him. Is our spirit named Michael? Maybe. All right, Red oh, Book, Sally. is there a singular message that you want to tell the world? Why are you here? I surrender to you my memories and my anger towards this person. They're giving us the memories and anger. So somebody did something to this spirit in real life, and now they're using it out on us. <laughs> oh my god. So there is a bad thing here that wants to wound us and afflict pain on us. Red Book, are there multiple spirits here? If so, could you identify yourself? I see not your pain. I see not your pain. For they have been cast out through the grace of God. Holy shit! <laughs> it's like, it's don't worry, you're not going to be in pain because God's got you. It seems like God is helping. So God's here to help, but there's something that's trying to hurt us. That's bad. Even though there might be a dark energy around us, we seem to be protected I doubt for there now. Is. But with that being said, let's see if I can even leave this game. Red book, may I leave your game? Watch, no. It is the only way we can heal. Whoa! In the final 3 AM challenge, <laughs> the ninth, the most requested game that we've had ever. The yellow door. Called Red Door, Yellow Door. Basically, somebody's in a trance one. and takes the other person who's outside in the real world through a journey in their mind. All you're gonna need is a pillow and a cup of water. One of us is gonna be guided into a trance by the other, repeating the phrase, Red Door, Yellow Door, any other color door. Red Door, Yellow Door, any other color door? Red Door, Yellow Door, any other color door. Red Door, Yellow Door, door. door. didn't work. Once the person under the trance is in a meditative state, they're gonna use their mind to lead us through good or bad outcomes depending on the door. One important thing to note is that the person under the trance cannot break into a door they see in their mind if they don't have the key for it. What happens? I don't know. They're stuck. They're trust the game. And they can't go down any staircases or elevators, so don't be imagining that. And if you see an elderly woman in white or a businessman, you must be taken out of the trance immediately by getting water splashed in your face. What? I don't know. This is my Who comes up with this so stuff? Usually do. Well, you guys wanted it, so let's do it. Red door, yellow door, where's my I think you're gonna get into a door if you can get a tenor real quick. This is tenor territory. <laughs> tenor, tenor territory. Hold on, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh my god, that was too fucking 
Easy. One, two, three. Fuck, no, you can try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, that was so close! <laughs> that was so close! Next time. So today we're going to be doing the red door, yellow door challenge. <laughs> can I do this? <laughs> oh, like, so, keep your eyes closed the entire time. My I'm closed. Raise your arms straight in the air. As soon as you start to feel like your arms have to give up and go down, you can rest them on the floor, and that's when we're going to start. Now I'm going to find your temps. Uh, these are temps. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be rubbing your temps. Okay. <laughs> Move them in small circles. This is kind of intimate, guys. <laughs> Should we let them have a red room? Red door, yellow door, any other color door. Red door, yellow door, any other color door. Red door, yellow door, any other color door. What do you see? I see a house. What color is the house? It's white with cornfields all around it. It's the only house there. You see any doors that you could go into the house? There's a big red door. You need something to unlock it. I'm searching my pockets but find no key. I walk slowly up to the door. With one swift push, it opens. So are you in the house? I'm in the house. What do you see inside the house? There's cobwebs everywhere. It smells very bad. It smells like when your mom like puts food in a garbage disposal and Forgets to wash it out with soap after. Like what type of food? A hamburger helper. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I'm gonna cry. Holy fuck. I don't uh, think it's working. Any stairs or other doors? I'm peering through a long corridor. There's a bunch of different paintings on each side of the walls. I don't have a bad feeling yet, but the darkness looming on the other side of the corridor is scary. Is there any specific door that's calling your name? I'm walking down the corridor, but only see white walls on either side. I'm starting to jog. The white walls just keep going. You're getting out of breath? Yeah. Well, you've only been jogging for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> my jog picks up to a slight sprint. And... <laughs> a slight sprint? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> How can you just spread this like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I don't know! There's a light that just appeared That's at the way cool. end, and I see a blue door. I'm also crying right now at a bit of high balls. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because that smell never left my nostrils. But I go and open the door. I'm in the room now. There's somebody to my right. They have no features, no face. It's Get not out. even looking at me, it's just sitting there. I feel no emotion from this black. Get out! <laughs> The businessman! Oh <laughs> I'm like, gonna... I think you're gonna trance, dude. <laughs> I'm so scared now. And I'm walking towards the corridor. It's dark, but I just know it's the only way out because it was the only way in. And so I start jogging again. But when I turn behind and look, I can't even see the blue door. It's just darkness. And then I turn forward and it's just darkness again. It's like I'm like a lightning. <gasps> Whoa! The light turned off. I had to get you out of the trance. I'm sorry, bro. Like, dude, what the fuck? You are so fucking wet. He looks like he's yeah. melting. You guys, you're supposed to pour water on him to get it out of the trance to work or you out. I feel like I'm back in real life. You're back in real life? Well, for some reason, as soon as you said it's complete darkness, this thing fucking at, turned at off. The what does that time. mean? Did something in the trance come real and real? Like, that's actually kind of fucking crazy. That's weird ass timing. I mean, has a light ever turned off on a React video ever? No, or I'm thinking like main channel too. Yeah, like oh. ever. Ever since we got these new lights, it's never turned off. It's randomly has zero battery, but like these should be lasting hours. So this is fucking crazy. That was like really funny right, at first because you had to like pour water on my face, but now like actually thinking about it, I was literally picturing myself like looking around like in darkness. And oh, then boy. it literally happened. As soon as I saw the light. That's why I don't do these because you never know if they would be real or not. Like turning off, I was like, oh wait, this is not a joke anymore. That's fucking crazy. That's really scary that that happened at the end. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that what's been following us here? The guy in the second room? Did you literally, like, see that someone was following you? You couldn't even tell who it was. He wasn't following me. It's like he knew I was coming to him. Whoa, dude, that tripped me the hell out. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> okay, next one! Own oh, a box Why and trapping a spirit inside. 
Honestly guys, we have noticed a lot more activity over the course of the last few months because we keep opening Dibbit boxes. Why do you make us do this? We also do like all those 3 a.m. challenges. So I don't know if it's entirely their fault. But anyway guys, what we're I saying is this You're house fine. might be haunted. So this is our attempt to maybe seal that shit away and toss it. Yeah, we tossing it in the trash. Lock in the key. Or you could just sell that box on eBay. Somebody's bound to buy it. With wax and a nice smooch. Oh, la, la. I don't know about the second part. So if you watch our other videos, you know that in Jewish folklore, a dibbik is a wandering spirit. Something that is haunting a house, a property, or a person. A person's. A Dybbuk box is a way to trap a Dybbuk. And today what we're going to be trying to do is take the energy that we've been experiencing in our house and put that all into an item that we lock inside of a Dybbuk box. And that item, we thought, should be our own voodoo doll. So we are going to put all of our bad juju into these dolls. Fuck you! Fuck! You. So they have really <laughs> bad energy Excuse radiating the off of them. Now they're gonna go be trapped away forever. Now there is a list that we are following oh in order to do this right. Because what we don't want to have happen is us do this incorrectly and then we piss off the spirits. First step though is, uh, what's our box? Right here. All right, let's open her up. This is a box for the Dybbuk we put in the box. So it doesn't become a Dybbuk box. Yeah. It doesn't become a Dybbuk box until we do a specific ritual and we make sure to seal it correctly. Guys, I'm getting stressed out. I can't even cook hamburger helper. How am I supposed to make a Dybbuk box? <laughs> it smells like Home Depot. A Dybbuk, I guess, could be contained in any box. Yeah! Oh, whoa! whoa. whoa. This is actually really sick. What is that symbol you think? I think it's a volleyball. Check out our Dybbuk box. Let's see what's in our box right now. Oh, there's shit in it. It's such a clear, beautiful box. We are gonna make a high-end Dybbuk box for this. What is this? The lock and key. So now that we have the box that we're gonna be putting the Dybbuk in, a huge important part of this in order for- I heard also you'd have to take the lock and key or you, you close the lock, you wax the lock, but then you wax the, the key behind the box. Not a lot of people know that apparently. I'm just- not that I looked into it. To work is to set the intention. If this is our bad energy all into these, fuck you! Then I feel like. Fuck you, dude! I feel like these never should come back to us again, so it has to be trapped forever. Sounds good. Whoa, it's like perfect. The perfect little light. Perfect fit. It's kind of like us. We go to our hotel room and there's only one bed. <laughs> we have our haunted objects in the box. We have something called witch's grass, and we have to sprinkle it on our little selves. Do we have to smoke it first, though? Ow, it's a little spiky. Witch's grass amplifies the magical properties of other herbs that we're about to throw into these things. Oh, shit. Talking mushroom, look at that salt bay. That was great. Look at that, guys. Now we gotta take something called mugwort. Is that think? from Hogwarts? I think it's from Hogwarts. Actually, though, what is a mugwort? Mugwort sounds like it'd be on my c. You have warts on your. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Mugwort is used to keep negative energies at bay. Oh, we need mugwort. Oh, That's fuck! Where's the wart? What is that? Is that mugwort? Wormwood. It says willow bark. Oh, shit! Guys, mugwort. Uh, we got mugwort. Here we go. I'm gonna add some mugwort. Is that even coming out? Oh, yeah! What's this? Probably, Jesus, that's a lot of mugwort. I'm trying to get the negative energy out of here. It's Next. probably just dirt taking out somebody's backyard. One salt. Now we can really salt bay this bitch. It says dump a clump. Dump a clump on top of haunted item. Dump that clump, bruh. Oh, that's some fucking clump dump. Now drizzle a very small amount of holy water. If you <laughs> mix holy, you guys know how to make holy water. You boil the hell out of it. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Water and salt together, it cleanses the negative energy. It even comes with a little cross. That's how you know it's holy water. What if this is just Dasani? Dasani can be holy water as long as it's breast. <laughs> breast? As long as it's breast. Blessed. Unless it is. <laughs> Blessed. Unless it is blessed by a priest. So let's drizzle right on our faces. <laughs> All right. Oh! We need a layer of wormwood to guard against bewitchment from other evil spirits. All right. So would you like to wormwood this bitch? Yes. Let's wormwood this bitch. By this bitch, we mean us. It looks like those flaky seeds you would put on a pizza that burn your tongue a little bit. Are you saying that you don't red like pepper? The red flakes are not pepper. Pepper are black. Pizza, red flakes. Red pepper flakes. What? Now we are going to take a selfie with the Polaroid, sign it and throw it inside the box. The main purpose of this is to take the spirit out of us, throw it into these two buffoons that are our voodoo dolls and then seal it up. 
Alright, cool. If somebody yeah. finds this we box. <laughs> we have a bunch of other random items, like this piece of wood. Why do we have a piece of wood? Let's stick one of these walnuts in. And a piece of wood. Harry Potter wand. Everybody wants to call me when I'm making a video. Gotta go in there, it just feels magical. And TBH, I think it needs more grass. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of grass. Wait, should we put a crystal in there too? You know, it's a little scary. This Polaroid didn't turn out. It didn't even show up? I don't know how that happened. We literally got nothing. Unless the Polaroid already got uh, exposed. Ready? We are gonna try this one more time. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the final one for inside the Dipic box. All right, let me lavender a little bit. Right in the fucking mouth. Oh, right on the eyes. The smell of lavender is so good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Maybe I did smoke some that witch's grass. Shit. The last step after we put in the picture will be to wax seal this. Have you ever waxed? I've never waxed. That's a lie. I don't know if I ever wax myself though. I think you've always been waxing me. I have waxed you a lot. That's <laughs> weird. But... This feels like a great time to tell you guys about Explore Club. It smells like they got the hot Check wax. Out the Sam and Colby seal of a Divic box. We should heat it up with the wax and brand ourselves on the forehead. Wait, where the fuck do you put the lock? Is there an easier way to fucking shove it through this bit? Oh Ooh. well, because this still is on there. Uh, got the scissors. I have knife. Oh my god! Got it! Now see if you can sing through the wall. Hey! hey! Shit. And then we lock it, and then we go like this. And now we throw this away forever. Oh, we're never finding that <laughs> shit. Last look at the beautiful Dybbuk box of Sam and Colby. Alright, so we need to pour it on all sides. This is dangerous. We gotta lock it in. This is very dangerous. Ow! Dude! Even though oven mitt is hot. We're gonna say spirits, may you protect us from evil three times. Spirits, spirits may you protect us from evil. Spirits, may you protect us from evil. Spirits, may you protect us from evil. Oh my god, it is like burning. That's like molten lava. That kind of looks sick. We chose a wax that's like a crimson sparkly gold. Oh my god, it's stuck. Oh no, it burnt through the fucking tarp. Oh fuck! <laughs> All right, ready? It's plastic. Oh my god, spirits, you may not enter us. Spirits, you may not enter us. Okay. That wax is gonna just go straight through. The oh, oh my it's god! Straight through. It's, it's plastic. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so hot. We've been burning this wax. They should have put like, like aluminum foil down. Through that shit or like so a fast. Sheet, metal so we're sheet. We're gonna pour it on top one more time because it's literally melting through the tarp that we put on the table. And then I'm going to put our little X marks the spot. That will be the sell it on eBay for a thousand dollars. Oh. Final stamp of approval. All right, ready? If we lock this correctly, we might not be as haunted anymore. At our own house. Spirits, may you protect us from evil. Spirits, may you protect us from evil. Spirits, may you protect us from evil. That looks so sick. Now stick that explore shit on. Hey, that's so sickening. This is actually so cool. We need to make more Dibba boxes. Let us know down below if you want us to make more crafts. The final Sam and Colby Dibba box our with first one. literally our own voodoo doll and our own hatred. Fuck you. Fuck you. You think it's hot? Yes, probably. Ah, oh, oh, that's hot. <laughs> I can't say that I would make my own divot box. I was just thinking to myself, maybe I can make some of them and just sell them on eBay. But I don't want to because I don't want that aura of bad negative energy around me. So with that being said, have you ever made a divot box? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you've ever done the 3 a.m. challenge, let me know which one you guys did and anything, anything or if anything ever happened. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and share with your friends. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care, be safe, and as always, keep nerding on, and we'll see you guys next time.